Yo, Elliot, I've been working in the agricultural industry my entire adult life and currently work at a nonprofit research institution institute that promotes regenerative organic agriculture. I've recently in the last few years reverted back to Catholicism and I have transformed many of my liberal and progressive ideas to conservative ones. I got a lot of great conservative Catholics I follow like Jesse Romero uh, say that environmentalism isn't Catholic, which really confuses me because I don't see how good care of the planet uh, God perfectly designed for us wouldn't be Catholic. Kind of like taking care of our bodies, we take care of the place we live. Can you help explain this point of view as it relates to environmentalism and uh, the Catholic faith? How do they conflict? Environmentalism is a cult. Environmentalism isn't about taking care of the environment. I need you to understand that. Environmentalism or this quote unquote greed movement is about control. It's about consolidating power into the hands of a few. So environmentalism in the political way it's used is a form of communism. It comes out of the errors of Russia, just like feminism. So people say, how could treating women well be bad. Feminism is about treating women well. It's not. It's not. Lefties have a way of using fun words to describe diabolical things. They use rainbows to depict disordered behavior. They say environmentalism in order to destroy the environment. They say the Patriot Act in order to take away your rights. Whatever they say they're doing, it's the opposite, right? If they say they have this new one because they want immigrant, they want illegal uh, illegal aliens to vote, and so they call it the Voting Rights Act. I think they have this thing now, Voting Rights Act. The, you have no rights to vote, so how is that a voting right? There's not there. Every whatever they say, if they say you know this is the plan to enrich, right? Like socialism. It's the plan to enrich you, guarantee it's gonna make you poor. The plan to elevate you, it's going to debase you. This part of, the, uh, of, of this era of Russia is, uh, and feminism is uh, the sexual revolution. Sexual revolution was to elevate, right? It's a, it's a great thing to elevate our most base instinct. It's the opposite, whatever, freedom is slavery, right? Sexual liberation is slavery to sin. You get that? So when Jesse says this, because I've heard him say it, you got to understand that it's a political environmentalism. They're lying to us. They're lying to us about what is happening to the planet and why it's happening. And they're using it as a political tool. Now, this is all God's creation. You're right. Your body is God's creation. The, particularly the Catholic faith, believes in a theology of the body. There was a heresy called the Albigensian heresy in the, uh, I want to say, 13th century, 12th century, where there were these uh, people, this, it, was, it was a heresy, they believed that all physical material existence was evil and that our soul, our pure good soul, is trapped in this evil diabolical body. And so, they would even do things like whip themselves uh, and they denigrated and they, they, didn't, they didn't love the planet. It was a heresy because the church had to go against that and say, whoa, 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 whoa. The incarnation of Christ specifically demonstrates how God loves creation. God wouldn't have come into the flesh, into this world, into this environment if it was damned. God elevates the planet. God elevates our flesh, right? And that, and the incarnation is the a perfect symbol of that. Environmentalism is not of God. It's from Satan. It's from the communist totalitarian takeover of the entire planet. That being said, like, it's responsible to take care of the planet. Yes. It's responsible to make good decisions about the planet. Yes. A lot of what these environmentalists want to do is they want to, like, for example, in they, they have emissions uh, regulations on America, but not on China. 
China can make all the emissions it wants, but we have to suppress ours even more. Is that environmentally friendly, knowing that China creates most of the pollution on the planet right now? Why is that? Because it's not about the environment. It's not about the environment at all. Is there climate change? Yes. Has there always been climate change? Yes, we know there was an ice age. The climate always changes. Environmentalism through their diabolical disoriented way of trying to usurp our minds and souls have us believe, well, because you're eating meat, because you eat and fart, because you leave a carbon footprint, you're making the planet change. Scientists who know refute that, but you don't hear those science, those aren't mainstream scientists. You, that, those, are, those are censored scientists. You're not gonna get that because it doesn't fit their political agenda. That all being said, just, uh, you know, I gotta keep it short here because it's been a long day. Environmentalism with a capital E is a political ploy. It's a lie in order to shift power on the planet and put it into the hands of a, of a, a few, right? And to, and to mold us into something that they want for this one world order. It's not, what, it's not from heaven. It's not, it's, it's not beautiful. Just like the rainbow in their cult doesn't represent something beautiful. It represents something diabolical, but they use beautiful imagery to lie. It's not green movement, right? It's a dark demonic movement, you know, environmentalism. And it's a cult for sure, just like you know all their other isms, feminism cult and transgender cult, you know, all these ism cults. That being said, I'm sure Jesse would agree that this is not our home. We are a pilgrim. We are here for a time. And if we wrap up all, and this is a part of you know enlightenment theology has created this, this idea that we're supposed to live our best life here because it's a trap, right? And so they think, they have you believe that you're going to find some sort of freedom and you're going to find all your treasures here. And so we have to be focused in on here and do stuff here to preserve here, right? Even though the climate is going to change anyway. The, the sun is, scientists know the sun is doing different things right now. It's going through cycles where there are more solar flares, right? There's all kinds of stuff happening on the planet. And these environmentalists also, they belong to the same cult that is using climate weapons. Have you heard? Do you know anything about this? There's climate weapons. They're weaponizing the climate in a political way, but in a physical way too, right? I know I sound like Alex Jones right now. Don't believe him. But anyway, like I was saying, we're a pilgrim here. We're, a pil we're on a pilgrim journey and we're leaving here. It's good, to, you know, as a man, you always hear, leave the place that you go better than when you came, right? If you sleep at somebody's house, you leave it better than you came. That is our responsibility. Leave this place better than when we came. But to be, to be obsessed with it is disordered. And that's what they're, they want us to be obsessed with it. Look at like, you know, uh, who's that little girl? Um, Greta, Greta, Greta Thunberg, they're using her. It's, so, it's such a shame they're using that little autistic girl for their, for their demise and they're tricking everybody. That's why they want to exterminate you. A part, of it, a part of this depopulation agenda, which is clearly unfolding since 2020, comes out of this environmental idea. They teach you to hate yourself. I remember hating myself when I was a kid because I heard that we are, are a cancer on the planet. Think about how diabolically disoriented that is. Human beings are a cancer on the planet. This is what environmentalists teach. I remember learning this when I was a kid. We're the destroyers. We're like a cancer on this planet. Never once do they remind us that we're the image of God and that there's a dignity and integrity that we should hold ourselves with nobility and order and operate with respect to that station that we have as the images of God on this planet. No, 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 no. You're a cancer. Just think about how your whole life, if proceeding from that paradigm, would change. I'm a cancer. I'm a son of God. Don't fall for their tricks, dude.
done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.